speak your mind, speak your mind, speak your mind. Speak your mind, speak your mind, speak your mind. Just speak your mind. Speak your mind. You know, I like speaking my mind. Everywhere I go, I like giving my opinion. Speak your mind on Dean TV. Another day, another show. My name is Jane Kay, and this is Speak Your Mind on Dean TV. This month, we're commemorating uh, Women's Month. Not only do we look at women as individuals, but the change they bring to the world. We'll be finding out from the people of Yes, Cape Town to find out what they think about Women's Month and just in general, how women rule the world. Be wise, be free, and speak your mind on Dean TV. Hi, what's your name? I'm Dylan. Dylan, I'd like to ask you, um, what do you think about women in general in the world? Um, are they superior? Are they inferior? Give me a brief you know, explanation of what you think, wow. the role women play in the world. Yeah. Well, um, I wouldn't say women are far superior to men nor in superior. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's, it's equal. I mean, it's the same thing with racism and stuff. Everything's equal nowadays. And I think women are very lovely to have around, especially when you're feeling Ooh. and stuff. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's... But do you think um, gender equality, do you think women are really equal? I mean, really, let's get down to this. Do you think that women play out equal, as equal, not only in, 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 in getting a job, not only in, in, in school, you know? You know, there's this whole thing pasted onto women as um, women can't do everything that men can do. Well, I think that's a lie, firstly, because, I mean, uh, you can some of some the best women, I mean, some of the best lawyers in the world are women. Mm -hmm. Some of the best fashion designers, uh, I mean, architects, mm -hmm. civil engineers are the women. I mean, every, everyone can do anything. It doesn't mean because you're a woman or you're a man, it's different to... Uh, who's, your, who's the favorite woman in your life right now? Um, I'd say my mom. Okay, so if your mom was watching, what would you tell her? Tell her how important she is in life in general. Just tell her that I love her and she means the world to me. That's boring. <laughs> That's really boring. Well, okay, let's go. Dear mom. Dear mom. Um, I'm thank you for I'm all thankful for everything you've done for me. Um, I don't know, I just love you to bits and pieces. My name is Desiree and you're watching Speak Your Mind on DNTV. One of the most beautiful women uh, in the whole of Cape Town. You guys are looking very lovely, I must say. I'm here with Daisy and the beautiful Lux. We're speaking about women. This is uh, the month of August commemorates Women's Month. And um, when you hear the word women, what is the first thing you think about? Okay, the, the first thing to think about is uh, a flower, beauty, softness, earthiness, importance and greenness. Uh, this involves a lot of issues from health uh, to how we are valued. You know, if you walk in a garden, if you stamp on a flower, it won't grow again. If you don't uh, give fertilizer, it won't grow again. And so on. And also, um, our standpoint is that um, in these times, we want to be hard-working women or women who stand alone um, and we want to motivate uh, other little women, those are children at school and so forth. And our struggles is that uh, unfortunately this is still a man's world and unfortunately we still have to run the race, uh, still run longer and faster. But I think um, that if women stand together and, and are prepared to work hard and run faster because an individual who does this is actually a fitter mm -hmm. so let the fittest win then in, at the end of the day mm -hmm. so besides being soft and nurtured we want to be fast and strong too mm -hmm. and i think um that's my perspective lux i'd like to ask you you know it's not only on a daily basis but just any room i step into you know as a woman um, we always look down upon, you know, once you give your opinion um, in a group of men, it doesn't really count because you're a woman and they feel they're more superior than us, which I feel is, is it's not true. I feel, it's, I feel women are very crazy to think that uh, men are more superior than them because we have been more superior and, we, and it's just a fact, you know. And um, I was speaking to somebody early on about um, how men, not, I'm not going to say how they need us more, but um, they re, not they rely on us either, but they look they need us, but yet they, they, do, look, they, they look down on us. Do. Is that fair though? It's not fair because men really definitely need women. Especially uh, from my point of view as a wife. Men cannot do anything without us women. Because they li they're like babies. Every single day we have to tell them, do this, do that. So they can never stand a chance without us women. 
So they should, what they do need is to respect us more, as Desi said, nurture us and just value us more much better. And, with, and ladies, with regards to um, gender, gender equality in the country we're living in, um, is, this, are we, is this being worked on or is it the same? Is there a way forward with this whole, with the whole, you know, women being equal to men, not only um, in the working industry, but just anything we touch or do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, men, they still think that they're much better than us, but it's not true, actually. We can do better things than men. That is from my point of view. I don't know about the others. Well, ladies, happy Women's Month, and I hope that you guys get everything you deserve this month. Thank you. Happy Women's Month! Pick your mind on DTV. Caregivers and love and support community. The women that are going through so much out there, that go through a struggle on a daily basis, are not only personal struggle, but I mean being looked down, you know, being abused, going through different things of life, you know. What can you say to them? Well, I feel Africa is built on the backs of strong African women. Very few other countries in the world have this amazing structure that kind of supports everything that happens in the country. I always feel the men take that for granted. So women should recognize their role, especially in South Africa, especially in rural areas in South Africa. Um, people kind of moving into corporate business in, in the cities should really focus on taking what's theirs. Because women work sometimes twice as hard, maybe three times as hard as men, I feel. Um, plus they raise kids, plus they take care of their families, um, plus they're pretty awesome altogether. I feel, you know, but I don't, from a man, maybe you can help me. What, what makes you guys think that um, you guys are superior than women in any way, on any given day? I mean, we carry your kids, you know what I'm saying? That's you know, assuming, that's what we, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think men have been used to the system for far too long. If you look at what's happening in America, women are taking the lead, men are taking the lead less and less. They actually have less managerial roles as you get younger. So younger generations are of women taking control, take control which is great. Um, yeah, I think it's just a, a case of men being far too used to the things as they are. That's it. Who's, who's the most important woman in your life? Oh, my mother. Well, if mommy was watching, what would you say to her? Let's go. Dear mommy. Dear mommy. Dear mom. You've given me all your energy, all your hopes and dreams, all your prayers for, I'm now 32, for 32 years. And she's still doing it, even though I'm grown up and should be taking care of myself. Um, I can't be more grateful than I am. It's, it's awesome to know that there's that one person. If everyone hates me, my mom will still love me. Hopefully. I hope so, mom. Yeah. I really do. Thank you so much. Anytime. This is Dylan Gill. Speak your mind on DNTV. Today that uh, she must stay strong. This is a special month for her. And just for her to be there for me, like, it's an amazing thing, you see, on a daily basis. Because, like, I don't think there's any day on a month I can give my mom a call and she wouldn't answer it, you see. So my mom, she's always there for me, you see. So, yeah, I would say... Has she ever given up on you? Uh, nope. Nope. Yeah. She hasn't given up on me. Have you done anything special for her this month? If not, what are you planning on doing for her? Uh, this month, yes, I did. I took her to Waterfront. Wow. How did you feel? How did, you, how did she feel? Okay. Uh, she felt very great. Uh. Yeah, you see. Life be without your mom, women in general. Women in general, ah, women in general. I don't think like life would be able to like to progress so, without so women. Women rule the world, basically. Yeah, women rule the world, ah, <laughs> so to say. From a guy. So to say, so to say, yeah. Because like we need them, they need us. You see, so it's kind of like. But 50 you need 50. us more, right? Ah, yes. yeah, <laughs> kind of. Thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Jason Olsen. You are watching Dean TV. Uh, women really, they are special in the nature that, you know, they are our mothers. They produced us, you know, a lot of things. The mama is special, something special that you cannot explain. We Okay, our dad is also special, but our mom, they go deep, they go extra mile to express 
their love towards us. I tell the truth. Mama, wonderful. The women, you know, the man's, you know, the women's man's really, to me, it's a, a great celebration because the most woman I have ever loved and I have ever treasured is my mother. I love women. Women are special. We thank God that today they are venturing into a lot of every field, left, right, and center. They are potential in industries, they are potential in a marketing, doing services, left, right, and center. They are engineers, they are presidents, they are ministers. I you know with gender, me myself as a person, I don't discriminate. I know ladies, what a man can do, a woman can do. Women are special. I love you, ladies, all over, wherever you are. God bless you. Thank you, my sister. Hi, my name is Asipe. You're watching TNTV. <laughs> when I think of women, I really think in this country women are underestimated. But if I'm honest, I don't think about women as an entity on their own. I think about people and who they are and what they do and what they aim for in life. That's what defines them, not their gender. And I think that's important. That should be said. My two gentlemen sitting uh, with me, I'm with Nyash and Martin. What women, what's the woman's role in their life? And uh, what would life be without them, though? So, Nyash, I'll start with you. What, what can you say about, um, you, you, don't wanna, you don't have anything to say? So, what do you think women are less than pe a person than you are? Okay, cool. Martin, tell me. What would life be without women in the world? Yeah, you know, without women, I don't think we, we can survive. Mm. Because even if you look in the beginning, when God created uh, Adam, mm. he realized that uh, mm. only one man, he can survive in this mm -hmm. world. So you have, you have somebody who can help like a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now my, my next question to you is, um, a woman came, was, was molded from, um, from a man's rib. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Does that make... A woman any 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 more less than a man? Are men su more superior to women, or do we need or a woman more superior? Who needs who more? I think uh, there's a mistranslate between the word saying a woman come from the man's rib. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that a woman gonna we can put her down or we can force her to go down. If a woman have got something to say, she has to. We can't stop here. We can't even uh, tolerate like other people. They say, like those people I heard, like uh, what they call. They say, women they mustn't go to school. Mm. It's not right. Mm -hmm. They have to go to school because when they go go to school, they can learn. It doesn't mean also the women when they go to to school, then they learn to be the prostitutes. Mm -hmm. No, it's not like that mm -hmm. because we see long time ago, especially as black uh, black people, our mind is not like white people. Mm. So now, when it comes to equality, gender equality, yeah. do you think that that is taking place um, in our country? Uh, I don't think so, because we are, we are still like a kid mm -hmm. which want to grow up. So we have to learn more much details to understand what the word woman means, mm -hmm. especially in our culture. Mm -hmm. Because mostly African people, they use culture and uh, like culture and British, um, uh, like wh what can I say? You see, when we follow the European people and us as African, there's a little bit different because you know, when we grow up, we, our mother used to carry us uh, through their back. But you, in Europe, if you carry a child here, yeah, they can say you are abusing a child. But me, when I was young, I used to cry to go and climb my mother's mm. uh, yeah. But in Europe they can say you are abusing. Mm. So we have to learn something because th there's a long journey we have to understand mm. and to learn. Well, he says there's a long journey with regards to women that we need to learn and understand. Let's move on and find out from the rest of Cape Town what they think about women in the world. Speak your mind on DTV. So I bumped into Keenan and Michaela. Now guys, this is what's going to happen. Keenan, Michaela standing here is so beautiful. I can see, but I don't know her. You know her more than I do. So you, I want you to make her understand, as a woman, how important she is, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. Five, four, three, two, one, shoot. Okay, um, I believe that Michaela has a very good influence on me, as she kind of keeps me in line. She makes sure that I'm on work at work at, on time, and um, she always makes sure that I get my, I eat because sometimes I don't eat at work. So I mean, she takes care of me at work, I guess, in a sense. 
Yeah, what so... Can, can you imagine life without Michaela? Imagine they were just John, Harry and Simon at work. I guess it'd be a very lonely lunch, I guess. So, t t say something to Michaela that will brighten up her day. Michaela, you are amazing and you should keep up what you're doing at the moment. Because it's still fascinating, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Kelly Jean and this is Speak Your Mind on DTV. You. Good, you look shy. Yeah. Is it just me or like, uh, are you just like that? <laughs> okay, I'd like to ask you, um, who who's the most important woman in your life? Oh, they have to be my mommy. Eh? Like, Is it? What makes her, why, why your mommy? Like literally from day one, she was always there. Like she always raised me, like always had her. Anything they have problem, my mom, you know. Like I live with my mom. I'll probably stay with my mom for next year or two still. Mm. Yeah. But no, nah, it's always been my mom. Like. Oh, I'd always be my mom. <laughs> can you can you like imagine like life without her? No, I don't know, eh? I don't know where I'll be. It'll be quite different, I would say. Mm -hmm. Maybe be a bit like mm -hmm. fun because I'll be like okay, have more chance to catch a nonsense. <laughs> How like what if there's a message you'd what, like to portray to women and just tell them something. I mean this is women's month, the month of August and mm -hmm. tell them the importance. If if your mom was watching, what exactly would you tell her? Tell them she'd be important to me. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to tell the mom. Yeah, always want to. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. No, oh, hopefully. Speak your mind on Dean TV. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eva. I am from Spain. I am traveling around South Africa. I think it's a lovely place. And uh, we're speaking about women. This is Women's Month, the month of August. When you hear women, what do you think? Oh, you know, when you think of yourself, you know, what do you carry and what do you entail as a woman? Well, um, when I was younger, I thought me, my daddy was the strength of the house. But by the time I realized women, we are the movement of the world. It seems like it's a strong sex men. But for example, uh, at home, I feel like uh, probably we are, um, we are not as strong physically, but mentally we are, we are the strength of the house. We, we can move mountains. We don't have limits. For the women out there that, are look, that, are, that, that men look down on, you know, and the women that get abused out there, and, you know, can, is there something that we can maybe say to them to tell them that they need to keep being strong, you know, and that they are not anything less of what that man is, if not even more. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what can we tell to women out there that go through so much on a, you know... So you mean uh, to say to the woman, to, yeah. uh, these women who are suffering the abuse of yeah, their yeah. husbands and things like that, okay, uh, women, you have your rights, um, you don't deserve that, so don't keep at home um, um, standing that things of, of that, because you human beings, you have the, the same rights that men. Okay, and if you feel like uh, you don't have the same rights and you don't have your freedom, go away from your house, uh, find a job, and because we can manage on our own. So it's, it don't, don't be afraid. Just run away and don't stand that uh, anymore because you own your life. Your husband doesn't own your life. Okay, and for the men, this message just know that we are human beings as well, as well, we have feelings and we have the same rights as you and we can do whatever you do. Okay, we, we don't have limits because we are women and we are not silly. This is Wakito and speak your mind on DTV. What I would say to women for, uh, of today is that they must be happy, they must be confident about themselves and remember that the Lord, there is a Lord that we are serving and we must always pray, pray and put our trust in the Lord. That is what I will say for women, to trust in God because he listened to us and he loves us all. Thank you. My name is Seba and uh, these are my words for this TV program. Thank you very much. How would life be without a woman? Um, there would be no life actually. You know, People, don't, people really uh, disregard women a lot and um, they are very important to, to how everything works. Um, I think everything in life actually depends on a woman in some, in some, sort, of, um, in some sort of way. And uh, for me personally, um, I love women and I love, 
I love girls, I love everything about the women and uh, they are very important to our society and me personally I would not actually be able to uh, do a lot of things without uh, my support, the support of my girlfriend also and my girlfriend Nicole, Nicole Chambers and I'm Jason Olsen and uh, yeah that's, that's a woman, I mean my mother also um, besides from women now mothers also are very important to, to everything that we do and and they're always there to guide you in the ways that you have to go and for most of the people that are successful nowadays and so forth they all had women in their life that actually guided them to stay on path and to, to keep focus on what on what, on their dreams and their visions so uh, yeah that's all I can say okay I just want to say to all the women out there that you're beautiful we love you yeah we love you <laughs> <laughs> bye my name is Jason Olsen you are watching Dean TV Femi women are wonderful because they're inspiring, they're strong, they're mostly stronger than they actually think they are because they always think maybe they're the more weak gender but they're much stronger because they have a strong mind and they just need to believe in themselves and think about themselves too and not just about how can they be stronger than a man, they're stronger than any woman, they're anything, they're women and this is why they're beautiful. Speak your mind on Dean TV. It's an Islamic, it's our religion. Be proud of who you are if you are Muslim. A woman, a woman is someone who's important. You know, a woman is the, everything what we need. You know, I've got two kids at my house. When I get out from my house, she's the only one who look after my kids. So that's why I say woman is so important. You understand? Because you always take care of us and then whatever you need. That's why they say, I don't know. I don't know the guy who said every time, woman first. I don't know what he did so from woman, but I also believe in him because, yeah, n not to me, but to my side. If someone do something like that, he deserves to die because no one. Because you, I got more than I got more power than you. You know, I'm talking when, when I'm, if you saying about about fighting, you understand? Okay, yeah, to come for you, to abuse you, to do everything what to you because. Okay, I'm the one who come to you to tell you, okay, oh babes, I love you, something like that and that and that and that. And then after that, I come and use you, you understand? Yeah, there's men like that who do something like that. So that's why I say, we, go, we, we know, because everything what we do, we're going to fight, you understand? When I do something wrong, and then I know that you're not, you're not going to beat me, I can cheat on you. But when Why you do you find it okay to cheat on me? You know what? Why? If can I do the same? I am as human as you are. So That's can why I? I say, to cheat, it's not. It's it's totally different. You also cheat. It's nothing, um, great. Nothing more greater than being a woman, being a mother, being a sister to a friend when she's going through something. It is the best ever to have. A woman should never be without girlfriends helping her through tough times, being there for that person and you know, you cannot you cannot be more than a mother than you know, or, or a child couldn't want somebody more than a mother. I, th I think it comes from growing up, you know, the way the father treats the mother. I think it comes stems from there. But it, it, you know, it's, it's we older women teaching the younger generation, you know what, you are, you are a woman, you know, you shouldn't stand back for anything, you should just do whatever, you know, and, 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 and grow as a woman and stand your ground and, and we need leaders, we need women leaders in this country. Yes, every woman man. And then we mustn't only respect this woman, the woman, woman only in this month. We must always respect them every day, every year. We need to remember that we are the root, um, the roots of this world. You know, so they need us. But I feel, I feel like we we haven't. We need to come to a place where we can actually take over the world. Keep on keeping and um, dream big. From me, Jane K. Well, this is it. Catch us next time on Speak Your Mind on Dean TV. I'm Khadija Isaacs and speak your mind on Dean TV.